defection or deception. The alleged move by 14 provincial NDP candidates may not be what it seemed. Five of them put out a statement this afternoon saying they will support the party federally and provincially and not join the Greens. They claim their names were put on the defection list without their consent. And NDP leader Jagmeet Singh joins us from Montreal. Uh, Mr. Singh, can you get to the bottom of what this confusion is in New Brunswick? When you had allegedly had 14 defectors, including a provincial, or a, sorry, a federal organizer for the NDP, defect to the Greens. What's the reality from it that you understand? Well, what we're learning is that it turns out that's not the case, that the Green Party put out some misinformation. It's turned out to be not accurate. And really the questions are, should go to Ms. May and to the Green Party, why they put out false information. It turns out uh, many of the 14 are saying that no, uh, we didn't know about this later letter, we weren't advised of it, and we certainly don't sign on to it. Um, it's really up to Ms. May and to the Green Party to explain what's going on. Okay, well, um, Elizabeth May learned about it basically when I was talking to her a few days ago, and uh, I don't know, she seems to think they came to her, not the other way around, but tell me what you make of their argument that uh, part of the backlash, if you want, against Jagmeet Singh's leadership has to do with uh, racist concerns, particularly in the rural part. At least that's something that one of these defectors uh, was, re was saying to you. Uh, how do you react to that? Well, I think one is uh, they're counting out New Brunswick and they're counting out Canadians who I find to be very open and warm-hearted and, and accepting. Uh, but if there's people that are judging me based on the way I look and the color of my skin or my appearance, that's not really different from what a lot of Canadians experience. A lot of women in society face barriers because of their gender. They don't get promoted in positions, they're not represented in politics or in the halls of power. In, the executive suite of companies, they're less represented, and they're told often that they can't ex succeed because of the way they look. A lot of people are told that because of their religion or the color yeah. of their skin, and I hope that people will see in me someone who understands a little bit of what they go through, and you can count on me to be there to champion the idea that everyone should be able to succeed in society, that it's their values and what they fight for and what they believe in that should be what determines if they should succeed or not. All right. Now, one of the complaints, and I know this is a big country, but they say in New Brunswick that you hadn't visited that province, sort of give a pep talk to the NDP there. Why hadn't you, you've been a leader for almost two years, I guess. Why hadn't you managed to reach uh, a province the size of New Brunswick? Well, Canada is a big place, and I want to be able to visit every part of this country. There's uh, lots of parts that I have not yet been able to visit, but I'm going to try my best to visit everywhere. Where, but no matter where you live in Canada, I want folks to know if you can't find a place to live, if you're worried about the cost of medication, if you're worried about the future of this planet, you can count on New Democrats to fight against the climate crisis by leaving no one behind, to make sure we build affordable housing and we expand our healthcare system to include medication for all. Have you been to uh, every other province except for New Brunswick that you know of as leader? Uh, I've covered, I think, believe every other province, yes. Okay. I do want to ask you, you're short of a full slate of candidates. In fact, last I looked, you were about halfway there. Uh, what's going to happen in the days to come? We could be literally uh, 24, 48 hours away from an election call. How ready are you on the candidate front? Well, in about five days, we'll be at 302 candidates, which will put us at about 90% of the way. Uh, we're very confident that people will be able to vote. We'll have absolute confidence. People will, will be able to vote for a new Democrat, no matter where they live. They can be vote for someone that's on their side. And instead of being on the side of the multi-billionaires, like the Conservatives and the Liberals, they can vote for a new Democrat who is on their side and willing to stand up for people. And you're, are you getting ready to launch your campaign uh, early? Are you going to wait for the writ to drop? Where are you in election planning? Uh, we're, we're ready to move ahead next week. We're planning to, to launch a, a number of our initiatives and to make some big announcements. So we're ready to go ahead. Uh, it's on the government to call the election, but we're already planning on getting ready for the campaign to start. And you, there was some criticism that you may have conceded you're not going to form a government in this election. What was behind that tactic of saying, I can't support Andrew Scheer based on his gay marriage positions uh, if there's a minority parliament? Do you think you jumped the, the gun and should have maybe held that declaration back and seen what the election result was first? No, not at all. Not at all. I want to make it very clear. I'm running to be Prime Minister of Canada. I, I asked the people of Canada to give me their support. 
uh, so that I can actually support them and make sure we've got a government that actually works for people, not for the very rich. We've seen conservatives and liberals make the life of rich people easier, but harder for everyone else. I want to change that. And, and so that's, that's what I'm focusing on. But when it comes to conservatives, I wanted to be very clear. After all the information that came out, the fact that they don't support uh, minority communities, they don't support same-sex marriage, they don't support a woman's right to choose. And uh, given their fa the fact that they don't understand the, the urgency of the climate crisis we're faced with, I wanted to make it clear that they're not someone I support, unlike the Green Party or Ms. May, who says she's open to supporting and working with conservatives. Uh, I'm willing to work with anyone who can advance our beliefs in terms of making life better for Canadians, expanding the healthcare system, building new housing, but I made it clear it's not going to be the Conservatives. Last question, if I may. There's a story going out today that, uh, and it's been confirmed that the Prime Minister, as Liberal leader, will only attend the two consortium debates. Uh, scheduled CTV's moderator, or CTV will have a moderator there. I'm curious, what do you make of the fact that Prime Minister is not attending a lot of other special side debates, just the two main ones? Well, it's really concerning. One is a pretty major debate. We've got CTV and McLean's uh, big Canadian journalists that are putting on a debate, and the fact that he's pulling out of that shows that maybe he's afraid to debate his record. Maybe he doesn't want to hear or doesn't want to face questions on what his record has been in these past four years. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready to debate Mr. Trudeau anywhere, and I think uh, he should be able to stand up to that type of criticism. He should be able to defend himself. Uh, but I think it's pretty clear he can't really defend the four years where he's chosen consistently to help out the people at the top, whether it's pharmaceutical companies, big pharma, whether it's telecom companies, whether it's the uh, oil and gas sectors. He's consistently met with their lobbyists and broken promises and commitments to Canadians. Much like the Conservatives, they're both working for those at the very top and they should be able to stand up to that record. I'm ready and willing to debate anytime. I think we just got a preview of what you're going to say during one of those debates. Uh, Jagmeet Singh, thanks for joining us. Appreciate this. Thank you.